So, hey, Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and um, wow, had an amazing day uh, in the field. It is absolutely over the top phenomenal when you obey God. So, just want to give you a quick shout out and praise report. Uh, the young lady that we prayed for last week that got saved, um, she totally and completely showed up. She's okay. She's safe. Uh, it's like God is just so amazing. We had another young lady. Her name is Cherokee. And I'm going to repost her video from a few months back. She had been diagnosed with an incurable disease by two different doctors and two different blood donations that she had given. So I'm not going to tell you. You just figure it out for yourself what she possibly have been could have been diagnosed with. And we prayed for her. And let me tell you what. The Lord did exactly what he said he would do. The report came back. She went to a different doctor. I told her to get another opinion. And let me tell you what. The Lord healed this young woman. Okay, you don't have the blood disorder. You don't have the disease in uh, two times giving blood and then a third time at a doctor's office. And then you go back to the doctor after the Lord has done what he said he would do and you get a report that it's negative and there is no disease. So I want to give God the glory and the honor and the praise for that. There was another um, just powerful, powerful demonstration of the spirit of the most high God this young woman she's from um, Abilene she came through and um, basically some of the things that happened is like out of this world God is absolutely just totally the the more I see him in operation the Holy Spirit operating in people's lives the more I'm like oh yes oh yes I gotta I got to stay with the Lord and I've got to just stay in that place of separation. Um, holiness, we've got to literally come out from among them saints and we have to separate ourselves. The Lord calls us. Many are called, but few are chosen. And when you are chosen, you are going to listen and obey God if you want to walk in that anointing and in that power. This woman from Abilene, I mean, some of the things that she was telling me and my other sister, you're just sitting there and you're thinking, this is what they write books about. This can't be true. But then when the deliverance started, it's true. And not only is it true, but God is not a man that shall lie. Let me tell you what, he is the truth. And not only did the truth come out, but I'll put it this way. There was a certain spirit that when I spoke to it, her eyes got big around this the 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 skin just kind of sucked back on her face and it looked like it was just a skeleton standing before us and let me tell you what the lord the lord is the one that knows this stuff it is not possible for a human being to know this apart from the spirit of the most high god and he's the one that delivers them. We are his hands and his feet. We are his voice. You are his hands and his feet and his voice. There is a sick and dying world out there, saints. You have the answers. You have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Then another lady came by. And there was this one guy that had been sitting on the fence. He could come across the bloodline. And then he got really bold decided he'd come over and sit under the tent in the holiest of holies and he decided he was just going to start giving God some praise and honor and oh everything he sounded was everything he said sounded good but it's like uh uh something ain't right here so this other lady walked up and he started cursing her and it's like yep he's an agent of Satan well I ran him off I said get out of here devil and he starts cursing and rebuking I'm like yeah whatever you know what you're a liar God is not a man that shall lie. He will not curse what God has called holy. Well, he left. He didn't come back. 
Then there was another guy. He comes by and he says, well, I'm an ordained minister of the Lord, and my brother was a minister, and my dad was a minister, and blah, blah, blah. But um, I love beer, and Jesus knows I love beer. Okay, so how's that working for you? You love the beer more than you love Jesus? These are just some of the people that come up and ask for prayer. And I ain't playing this little stupid game, devil, okay? Ain't gonna play it. If you come and you get in my face, in this place, in this sphere of anointing and the separation of the Lord God Almighty of his holy vessels that he has called, appointed, and anointed devil, you are coming out in the name of Yahushua. Ha! They come over for free water and free food and they have no clue what they're fixing to get. I mean... The devils can't manifest because they've been bound and gagged, but they still show themselves because they get in the spirit, the spirit realm of the presence of the Lord God Almighty, the Lord Most High, and they just start telling the truth. It's kind of fun to watch because you, like, you don't have to do a whole lot of nothing. Just sit there and watch. They come to you. The Holy Spirit does the work. All you got to do is let him operate through you. The spirit of truth. So, needless to say, when the guy that said he was an ordained minister started making excuses, I said, um, "You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna go to heaven making those excuses. You're once saved, always saved, and gonna work. That's a, a doctrine that's only 500 years old. It's a doctrine of demons." And it's a doctrine that men have embraced because it makes them feel better. Uh-uh. You either get out of that bondage to addiction, my friend, or you're going to die and you're going to go to hell. He didn't like that. I said, get out of here. He couldn't believe that I ran him off. Well, I'm not going to stand there and argue with a demon. Get out. Either obey God or get out of my presence. I don't have time for this. There's people that are dying and going to hell. And if you don't want what Jesus has got to give you, then I guess you're going to die and go to hell because I'm not going to chase down after you. I love you enough to tell you the truth, my friend. And that goes for the ordained minister that came by that is an alcoholic. And that goes for every one of us that call ourselves followers of Yahushua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You're either going to obey God or you're not going to have the promises. We've been given every spiritual blessing. So when he went, another lady came, and it was just over and over. I mean, just a never-ending supply of souls that need a touch from the Lord. So if you love them where they're at, saints, and you have the anointing and the fire of God in you, you have the ability and the authority that Christ has given you to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. To speak to the mountain and it shall be removed. There are so many that came by. A whole family. A whole entire family. Six children. The mother and the mother-in-law. The husband had been in a horrible, horrible accident. They have a leader at their church. And I'm like, how come he's not doing what needs to be done for this family? My question is, saints, how come the puppets in the pulpit are not performing by demonstrating with the Word of God? Instead, the puppets behind the pulpit are lacking the presence. And that's why the people that they're ministering to are still broke, busted, and disgusted. Because there's no anointing. There's no presence. Saints, the Holy Spirit lives in you. And if you're a leader, instead of being a leader, you have to be a feeder and let the Lord lead. Don't get me started on that subject. We have had an amazing day. SWAT Church, on site, in Texarkana, Arkansas, setting the captives free by the power of Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness. Father God, I ask you to bless your people. Let them be encouraged. 
by my testimony. Father God, the tabernacle of testimony. The tabernacle of testimony. Ha! Testifying of your greatness and your glory. Setting the captives free. So many people, saints. I mean, we've got their names. We've got their testimonies. Wow! To God be the glory. I love you, saints. God bless you. I just want to encourage you to go give your testimony. Go pray for someone. Give out some water. Do a random act of kindness. Come out from among them and be about your father's business. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua, Hamashiach over you to high protect and keep you. Again, as sister with a testimony and my amazing testimony is getting bigger every day. God bless you. I love you.